What's happening everybody, Tech Kid Geek, and I just want to talk about Apple today because I was reading a lot of articles last week and some of the things I've seen, heard, people thinking, all this other stuff. I just want to talk about Apple and it's kind of the new direction that they're going, kind of, sort of, you know, back when Steve Jobs was running Apple that, you know, he was adamant about certain things, he just wanted his way, he just wanted, he didn't, he wanted things his way. Now that T Tim Cook is taking over, a lot of people are saying that, if, I don't know, this is a bit extreme, but they were saying how... What they're saying is how he can uh, possibly lose his job if he was to make this iPhone 5C a cheaper version iPhone so everybody can get a, a hold of the phone instead of just having to pay $200 for a two-year contract and things like that. So it's, it was, I read that on the internet. I'm saying like that. That's a bit extreme to be saying that. But, you know, they say they got a little in production or whatever. I wouldn't say in production or in the works or whatever they're trying to do or if they're taking that step as far as smart watches and things like that. Also, that they all talking about, you know, a possible uh, new iPad size 8 inch or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, I'm just saying, I'm speculating that some of the things that I've been reading. One of the things that kind of got me about this whole Apple thing is how, like I said, when Steve Jobs took over, he was, you know, adamant about what he wanted. He wanted things his way and done his way, and how he beca it became successful again when he came back and took over and did what he did. And made the company successful. And now it's like since Tim Cook is taking over, they had a 7.9 inch tablet. A lot of people feel as though they shouldn't have made it because they had more, it was dominating the market with the 9.7 inch regular touch, uh, iPad. Now they're talking about an iPhone cheaper version 5C that's more plastic and more than more plastic feeling than uh, the Gorilla Glass that the uh, premium one comes with. You know, I would say, I would call it premium. And, and one of the things that they've been saying is that how, you know, Apple's taking risks they normally shouldn't have to make because they make premium quality products, and which is true. You know, you like I have the Apple TV, and that pre that feels like a premium product right there. It feels solid. It feels like it won't break it. And I got the Roku XD, and that feels like you can easily crack that in half. So that is true when it comes to they make premium products. All their computers have always been well made with aluminum and things like that. So they make premium products. So. Tim Cook is taking it, I don't know if it's a gamble or chances, he's just trying to expand the company out to other people who just don't want to spend that kind of money on their products. Completely understandable why he was going to go in that way, but you know, you just, you know what I mean, you, you, work, with, you, I mean, you work with what got you there, that's what I say. So I just want to, I mean, make a little video about some of the things that they've been saying about Apple, will they do something totally different, or they got some new products in the pipeline, we have to wait and see what's going to happen, but you know, the iPhone 5S and 5C, if it's going to be a 5C, it should be sometime at um, conference break, sometime next month, stating with, I mean, if, like I said, stating anything, if they're going to do anything with it, and they're also going to possibly have the release of iPhone 5S and 5C, like I said, I don't know, probably sometime in October, you know, let that new rush come along before the holidays and things like that, so please leave your comments, let me know what you think about this whole 5C, 5S, I watch iPad 8 point inch or whatever. It's just let me know how you feel and how you think about this. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.